Hello everyone, and welcome to FlowXO Academy. In this video, we will show you how to trigger one flow from another flow. Remember that with flows, you configure the conversations and actions of your bots, and you may create different flows for different purposes. With this feature, you can help your bot jump from one conversation flow to another while they are with your users. We will start by creating a blank flow and adding a new message. The text in the message will be Main Menu. We will also give the flow a meaningful name, since this flow will represent the main menu in our bot's conversations. We also turn the flow on so we can test it later. Next, we will add a choice question with the text, What do you want to do? And the options, Thing 1 and Thing 2. Note how we enter on the left box the name of the choice, and on the right box how it will be stored internally in the flow. We will use this later. Then we click on Next, and then on Save. We will now add a Trigger a Flow action, so after the user selects one of the choices, this flow triggers the corresponding Thing 1 or Thing 2 flow. In the Word or Phrase field, we click on the XO button, scroll to the Ask a Question action, and select the Answer field. Then we click on Next, and then on Save. We will now configure the flow that will respond to Thing 1 by navigating to the Flows page, clicking on New, and then on Blank Flow. In the Select a Trigger screen, we select New Trigger under the Flow section. In the Word or Phrase field, we type Thing 1 as we had entered in the question choices. Now click on Next to save. We will now add a message action that will confirm back to the user that this is in fact the Thing 1 flow. We type the message, Hi, I am Thing 1. And we click on Next and then on Save. We will now give this flow a meaningful name by calling it Triggered Thing 1. And we turn it on so it is active and can be triggered. We will now configure the flow that will respond to Thing 2, and as before, we start by navigating to the Flows page, clicking on New, and then on Blank Flow. In the Select a Trigger screen, this time we will do it in a different way and select New Message under the Interact section. In the Words or Phrases field, we type Thing 2 as we had entered in the question choices. Now click on Next to save. While we are on this screen, we will turn it on so it is active and can be triggered and give this flow a meaningful name by calling it Triggered Thing 2. We will now add a message action that will confirm back to the user that this is in fact the Thing 2 flow. We type the message, Hi, I am Thing 2, and we click on Next and then on Save. We will now navigate to the main menu flow and click on Edit to test it. To access the test console, click on the green bubble at the bottom right. Remember to check that your flow is on. We now type main menu to trigger the main flow. And we see that the bot replies back with the message and two choices that we had configured. If we click on thing one, the corresponding flow is triggered and the message is shown. We now type main menu to trigger the main menu again. This time we click on thing two and we see that the corresponding flow is triggered and the message is shown. However, we have noticed while testing that it would be nicer for the user to be able to click on a button to return to the main menu. To do so, we navigate to the Triggered Flow 2 and click on Edit. We will now add a Trigger a Flow action with the phrase Main Menu. Click on Next and then on Save. We will name this action Return to Main Menu. If we now test the flows, we see that after Thing 2 is triggered, its Hi, I'm Thing 2 message is shown. 
and then the main menu flow is automatically triggered thanks to the action that we just introduced. We now click on Thing 1 to check that this part works fine as well, and we see that we receive the correct Hi, I'm Thing 1 message. And that's all for this video. In the video description, you can find a link to the written instructions for this. And remember that we have instructions for many more features in our Help Center at support.flowxo.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on FlowXO's features, and let us know in the comments if there are any specific features that you would like us to cover in a video.